Hey there, it's Glenn. In this video, I wanna show you that with just a little time, a little patience, and a few tools, that in an afternoon, you can build your own Cigar Boss guitar. This one specifically inspired by the king of the Cigar Boss guitar, Shane Spiel. All right, let's do this. To build your guitar, get yourself a cigar box, a set of Shane Spiel signature tuners from CB Giddy Crafter Supply. Those are the mounting screws for the tuners. And they also come with bushings, but since they are not absolutely necessary, I don't want to use them for this project because I want to keep this as simple as possible. This is a set of Blues Blaster strings from CB Giddy Crafter Supply. I've got an eye bolt and a threaded rod that'll serve as the bridge and the nut. Three screws here that are very important that have a flat bottom to the head a handful of nails that probably came in some picture hanging package that I pulled out of the kitchen drawer. They'll help to close the box. And this is a hardwood, in this case red oak, but you can get yourself a four foot section of one by two, a hardwood like red oak or maple or even poplar that is as straight as you can find from your home improvement store with no twists, bows, or curves to it at all. For tools, gather yourself together a drill, something to measure with. This is a finer point Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a handsaw, a file and a rasp, a couple of clamps, a hammer, and a few drill bits, in this case a quarter inch drill bit for the tuners, an eighth inch drill bit for those three screws, and a sixteenth inch drill bit for the mounting screws for the tuners, and I have here a piece of medium grit sandpaper, it's about 180 grit. Cut your one by two, which in reality is three quarters of an inch by an inch and a half. Cut it down from four feet to 29 and a half inches. Take that 29 and a half inch length and from one end, which you'll call the bottom or the tail of the guitar, measure up half an inch and an inch. And I'm gonna do that twice on one face of this neck here because I'm not using a square. Half an inch and an inch. And then connect those lines And on this line that is measured up a half an inch from the tail end, measure from one side a quarter inch and then measure in from the other side a quarter of an inch. And then measure into the middle of that line in between these two marks, which in this case is three quarters of an inch. Now take your box lid and line it up with that mark that's an inch in from the tail and then draw a line like so on the other side. Here on both sides of the neck we're going to draw a section to cut out to fit the stick underneath the lid of the cigar box. So after having measured the thickness of the lid of the cigar box, which in this case for my box is an eighth of an inch, I'm going to draw down from both of those lines the one that's an inch up from the tail and the one that's on the other side of the scar box lid, I'm going to draw down an eighth of an inch. You can see I'm eyeballing it. And then there in another half an inch, like so. And then I'm going to draw down about another sixteenth of an inch and connect those two lines. and do the same thing on the other side. So you can see here that on both sides of the neck, that's the section that will be cutting out. From the tail end, measure up 25 and 5 eighths of an inch and 26 and a quarter. And try to get those lines straight across. Then flip your neck over on one of its sides. We'll be doing this on both sides of the neck. But from that line that you measured up at 26 and a quarter inches up from the tail, from that measured down three eighths of an inch will put you into the middle of this middle of the side of the neck. Do that towards the uh, the top end or the the headstock of the guitar as well. Connect those lines and connect them down from that line that's 26 and, 26 and a quarter inches from the tail. And from here, we'll also be removing this section 
which will serve as the headstock. Take your handsaw and cut a series of cuts really close to one another, the entire length of this void, but only as deep as those lines that you drew earlier go. So I'm gonna cut down to about an eighth of an inch here, then about a quarter of an inch all the way up to here, and then about another eighth of an inch till they get to the other side of the box lid. All the while you're making your cuts, just check on both sides of the neck that you're getting that cut to the correct depth, which is the line that you've drawn beneath it. With your flathead screwdriver and your hammer, you can go through and gently tap out all these little cuts that you made to get that recess you're looking for to go underneath your lid. At this point, you can take your file or rasp and smooth out the section that you've created to fit underneath the cigar box lid. Bearing in mind, there's about a half inch on either end here that's going to be higher up than this middle section because on these two points are what the cigar box lid is going to rest. What you're left with is a space for the cigar box lid. Now those two points will allow you to attach your lid to the neck and then that deeper space underneath the neck allows the lid to vibrate, giving it better volume. Now we're gonna remove this section here for the headstock. So I'm gonna use this line to cut straight down. With the neck flipped over onto its side and firmly clamped into place, make a cut from the top of the stick or the top of the headstock down to that cut that you've made here, being mindful that on both sides of the neck you have that line drawn so you can keep track of how even your cut is. Here you may want to use your file or rasp to smooth out this edge that you just cut for the headstock. And at this line, we'll cut a couple of shallow slots that'll create a space for the threaded rod to sit in that'll serve as the nut. So I'm putting one right on the line and then a couple right on either side of it, right next to it. And again, I can use that flat head screwdriver and hammer just to kind of tap out those remaining pieces of wood. On your headstock, from both sides, measure a line in three-eighths of an inch. Again, from both sides. I'm going to measure in three-eighths of an inch and then connect those lines and this will give us a guideline to where to drill for our tuners. The way that you're going to want to orient your tuners is to have this screw, this cog here, on the bottom of the tuner peg facing down towards the, uh, the tail end of the stick like so. So again, the screw in that cog on the bottom end of the tuning peg facing down towards the tail end of the stick. So in this case, we're going to have two tuners on this side and one tuner on this side. So for these tuners, I'm going to measure up from this edge, this bottom edge of the headstock, three quarters of an inch and two quarters of an inch. And on this side for this tuner, I'm going to measure up an inch and a half. Now it's time to use the quarter inch drill bit to drill the holes for these tuning pegs. But to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to use this finer point Phillip tip screwdriver. Just kind of poke a hole at each location where the tuner is going to go. That way it gives a spot for that drill bit to set into. And so as to not be angry with myself later, I put a piece of scrap wood underneath the headstock so as the drill bit exits the headstock, I'm not drilling into the table. I've done it. Here in this space between the bottom of the headstock and where the nut will be, go ahead and put those same lines that you did at the tail end, which are a quarter inch in from either side from both sides and then right in between 
those two dots, which in this case is three quarters of an inch. That's going to be the location for where the strings are going to run. This is the area where we're going to put those three screws that have the flat bottoms to the head. Because the string runs over the nut in this direction and needs to wind around this tuning peg in this direction, I want to put a screw here just about a sixteenth of an inch to this side of that line which will hold that string into place coming off the nut and hold it down to allow it to come down around the peg in this direction. For this string, which will be this middle line, it needs to come off the nut here and then wrap around the tuning peg in this direction. So in order to hold it in this spot, I'm going to put a screw about a sixteenth of an inch to this side of the string. And for this string, which comes off the nut here and wraps around the tuning peg in this direction, in order to hold it in that spot, I want to put a screw about a sixteenth of an inch to this side of that line. And again, I'll use that finer tipped Phillips head screwdriver to poke a hole for each of these locations and then send that eighth inch drill bit down just about a quarter of an inch into the wood. Being careful not to go all the way to the neck, I'm just going to send that drill bit down in, again about a quarter of an inch, and down the tail end of the guitar, again I'm going to use that screwdriver to poke holes where I've marked those three lines that were a quarter inch in from both sides and then right in the middle in between those two locations. And I'm going to use the 16th inch drill bit to drill down all the way through this piece of wood, the neck, but again using a piece of scrap wood underneath so that I don't drill down into my surface. On both ends of the box, measure over to find the center of the side. And from that line, measure over three quarters of an inch to either side of it. And from there, measure down three quarters of an inch from the top of the box. From those two lines that you drew on either side of the center point. Connect those two lines. And doing this on both sides or both ends of the box will give you the recess that you need to fit your neck through. Use your handsaw to cut these pieces on both ends of the cigar box out by keeping your blade just to the inside of the line so that you have a slightly smaller space than you maybe need. You can use your file afterwards to make the space a little bit larger if necessary to fit the neck. <laughs> As you can see, you may have to make multiple cuts in order to get down to create that recess and you can always use your file and rasp to really smooth things out afterwards. After making your cutouts and filing them as necessary, fit your cigar box guitar neck right inside your cigar box. Hey -o. Let's go ahead and install the tuners, again, with that screw and cog underneath the tuning peg and facing down towards the tail end of the neck. And through each hole on the mounting plate of the tuners, just go ahead and mark yourself the spots where you're going to drill for the mounting screws. Remove your tuning pegs and use something like that finer tipped Phillips head to just create a little spot where you can fit the drill bit in so it doesn't walk away on you. Now it's time to use that 16th inch bit to drill the holes for the mounting screws, but to make certain that the drill bit doesn't go all the way through the wood, I've used a piece of tape just to kind of measure off the length of the mounting screw. It'll give me a guide to stop the drill bit before I press on through. 
like so. This is a good point to use the sandpaper you have to smooth out any rough edges or get rid of any pencil marks that you don't want to see. From the middle of that recess that you cut out for the nut, measure down three and five eighths of an inch, five and three quarters of an inch, seven and five eighths of an inch, and 11 and a half inches. Now I like to do that on both sides here. And I'm just gonna draw a line all the way across the fretboard to connect those two marks. And that would be the location of your third, fifth, seventh, and twelfth fret on your guitar. Here we can insert those screws that have the flat bottom to the head, leaving them up raised about an eighth of an inch off the top of the neck. We can always bury them a little bit further. Now we can set those tuners into place and insert those mountain screws. Now fit the neck back into the box, close the lid. After fitting your neck back into the box, drill a couple of small holes on either end here so that you have some room to fasten the lid to the neck with those little nails. And now I'm gonna use another nail just to secure that side of the lid. As a right-handed guitar player, I'm gonna have the thickest string closest to the top edge of the guitar, and I'm gonna insert the strings through the back of the tailpiece, through those holes that we drilled through there. The second thickest string goes in the middle, and the thinnest string, of course, goes in the last hole. I'm gonna take that thickest string, I'm gonna run it on that side of the screw, and keeping it down with my thumb, I'm gonna wrap it around the shaft of the tuning peg a couple of times, coiling it towards the bottom, taking the loose end of the string, running it through the hole of the tuning peg, and pulling the string tight. Take the second thing of string, and run it on that side of that screw head, and again, wrap it around the tuning peg in this direction, keeping it down towards the bottom there with my thumb if I can, inserting the loose end through the tuning peg, pulling it tight. And the last string, being the thinnest string, is gonna run on that side of the screw head and around this direction of the tuning shaft. A Couple of times, insert the loose end through the hole in the, sh in the shaft, Pull it tight. I'm gonna take that threaded rod and run underneath the strings and into that slot. We can always space the strings a little bit better as necessary later. And from the tail, place that other threaded rod, or in this case the eye bolt, two and a half inches up from the end. Tighten up your strings just a little bit so they're not shifting all over the place. and then I'll get you tuned up after that. After you get things tightened up, you've just built yourself a cigar box guitar and that's pretty sweet. Now you can always drill some holes into the lid to let some sound out, clearly I've left them bare. But if you want to get this thing tuned up and you've used the Blues Blaster strings from CB Giddy Crafter Supply, I'll get you tuned to GDG. And it sounds a little bit like this, the lowest string is G. The middle string is D. And that highest string, the thinnest string, that's also G.
using something as simple as a socket like my man Shane Spiel, you can get playing slide on your new cigar box guitar. That first line that you marked off, which would be the third fret. That second line that you marked off, which is the fifth fret. That third line that you marked off, which is the seventh fret. And that last line that you marked off, which would be the 12th fret. Like I mentioned earlier, with just a little time, a little patience, and just a few tools, you can get building and playing your own Cigar Boss guitar. I hope that you found some of this valuable. If you ever have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to stop by and see me at glenwatt.com. And until the next time, I'll see you.